15 venomous vomits. Welcome to Toxic Tuesdays. Number 15, lionfish. The bright coloration is actually a warning to predators. These marine fish carry venom in their fin rays, which makes them great predators. However, it also makes them dangerous to divers and fishermen who may catch them. Lionfish venom can produce a number of ill effects, including fever, vomiting, respiratory problems, heart failure, and even death. Number 14. Southern short-tailed shrew. Didn't know this little critter was venomous, did you? Well, the shrew has grooved in sizes it uses to deliver venom that's strong enough to take out 200 mice. Now, the good news is that would not kill a human being, but it would be painful and cause swelling along with muscle problems. Two other shrews also carry similar venom, the northern short-tailed shrew and the water shrew. All three are known for their venomous saliva and belong to a small group of venomous mammals. Number 13. Gila Monster. This is the only venomous lizard that's native to the U.S. It's found in the southwestern area of the country and in northwest in Mexico. While the Gila Monster's neurotoxic venom is comparably toxic to that of a coral snake, only a small amount of venom is produced. A bite from this animal isn't fatal to humans, but it can cause hemorrhaging, a drop in blood pressure, and severe pain. You'd likely need up to five days to recover. Number 12 duck-billed platypus. Some people think the platypus looks kind of funny, but there's nothing funny about its venom. It's kept in the ankle spurs of the male animal's hind legs, and it's strong enough to kill a small dog. The venom isn't lethal to humans, however, but it can cause such excruciating pain that the victim could be incapacitated for weeks. If you get bitten by a platypus, just hope it's a female. The venom is only carried by the males. As a venomous mammal, the platypus belongs to a club with very few members. Number 11. Mexican Beaded Lizard. This animal has grooved teeth it uses to clamp onto its victim and then chews away until its venomous saliva enters the wound. While the venom is deadly to smaller mammals like rats, its effects on humans is less severe. But a bite can cause a drop in blood pressure, pain, swelling, and even respiratory failure, although such cases are extremely rare. Did you know this lizard is a close relative of the Gila monster? If you look, you can see the resemblance maybe. 10. Catfish. Most species of catfish possess strong, bony, hollow spines that project outward like fin rays and can inflict serious wounds. But certain species use those fin rays as a means to deliver a stinging protein if the fish feels threatened or irritated. The venom can be potent enough to hospitalize human victims unfortunate enough to receive a sting. Number 9. King Brown Snake. One of the longest venomous snakes in the world, it doesn't have the most lethal venom, but it does deliver a mass quantity of it in each bite, up to 150 milligrams per chomp. Contrast that with the average tiger snake, which delivers up to 40 milligrams when milked. The King Brown Snake is also known as the Mulga and is Australia's second longest venomous snake. Only the inland taipan is longer. Number eight. Komodo dragon. This is the largest species of lizard existing, growing up to 10 feet long and can weigh up to 150 pounds. You wouldn't imagine a creature as fearsome as this would pack a venomous punch. Why would it need to? But in 2009, Australian biologist Brian Fry uncovered evidence that the Komodo dragon actually secretes venom from glands in its mouth. Prior to this, it was thought the animal's bite transferred bacteria that infected its prey then caused it to collapse several days later, whereupon the dragon would feast. While the subject is still debated, Komodo dragon venom is believed to contain compounds similar to that of the inland taipan, which can cause shock and a rapid drop in blood pressure. Number seven. Blue Spotted Stingray. Among the most venomous of stingrays, they carry a venom that is cardiotoxic in nature, but doesn't usually prove fatal to humans unless the ray uses its barbed tail to directly strike the chest or abdominal area, as was the case with crocodile hunter Steve Irwin, who encountered an Australian bull ray in 2006. Number six. 
Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. The heaviest venomous snake in the Americas is also the largest rattlesnake and is reputedly North America's most dangerous venomous snake. Not surprising given its high venom yield up to 1,000 milligrams. An estimated lethal human dose measures 100 to 150 milligrams. Effects of the venom include severe pain, hemorrhaging, and cardiac failure. Number five. Indian Red Scorpion. As you might expect, this creature is found in India, but also in areas of Nepal, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. It's ranked as one of the world's most lethal scorpions, with its venom mainly affecting the cardiovascular and respiratory systems. Symptoms include severe pain, shock, vomiting, and hypertension. Fatality rates up to 40% have been reported. Number four. Cone snail. These predatory aquatic snails have harpoon-like hollow teeth called radula, which are loaded with venom and are sharp enough to tear through a wetsuit. Divers, take note. Effects of the venom can include vomiting, intense pain, and swelling, but the venom of some larger species of cone snail can cause muscle paralysis and respiratory failure, leading to death. Number three. Solenodon, another member of the Select Venomous Mammals Club. These little creatures can trace the lineage back some 30 million years when their ancestors roamed North America. Today, two species remain, living in Cuba and the island of Hispaniola. While these little guys are cute to look at, they're actually one of the few venomous mammals existing. The Solenodon injects its venom through modified teeth, not unlike a snake. Symptoms of a Solenodon bite include respiratory difficulty, convulsions, and paralysis. Did you know the name Solenodon comes from the Greek meaning grooved tooth? Number two. Bullet ant. These insects comprise the largest species of ant, growing up to one inch long. That makes them more than four times bigger than any other ant species. They're found in tropical forests of Honduras, Paraguay, and Nicaragua. And they're called bullet ants for a reason. The name refers to the sharp, painful, and venom-filled sting, which some have described as painful as being shot. Bullet ants are also called the 24-hour ant because that's how long the excruciating pain can last after receiving a sting. Victims are left worn out, swollen, and weakened. Number one. Irakanji jellyfish. Here's the epitome of a creature being small but mighty. This is not only the smallest box jellyfish in the world, it's also the most lethal. This jellyfish is so minuscule, it's only about the size of the human fingertip. Yet the venom it produces is so lethal that its effects are designated as Irakanji syndrome. Symptoms include debilitating muscle cramps and increased heart rate and blood pressure. The sting of this jellyfish is severe enough to cause fatal brain hemorrhages. When asked to rate the sting's pain on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the most excruciating pain imaginable, one doctor rated this sting a 12. 